What's up everyone? My name is Alan, founder and consultant at Fortnite Marketing, and welcome to day 14 of Brazemus 2023. Before we get started, if you have any questions, whether you are currently using Braze or considering using Braze, please feel free to reach out. You can find these addresses and more in the YouTube description below. Today, we are going to talk about the second delivery and entry type, action-based. Action-based is really the most important method of reaching your users as their own user action will be the trigger for the right messages for their user journey stage. And just like before, we will compare the action-based options on both the campaign and the Canvas Builder. And once again, besides a little bit of UI differences, the options are very, very similar. Let's get started. So from the very top on both the Campaign and Canvas Builder, we have the Trigger dropdown. And there's a small difference in the description. So in the Campaign Builder, it says, send this campaign to users who, and we choose our trigger action there. Versus in the canvas builder, it says enter users into canvas who perform any of the following actions. And then we choose our trigger action there. And once again, campaigns send the messages directly to our users versus canvases enter users into the canvas journey. So that's the subtle difference in the wording there. Let's take a look at the dropdown options. The campaign dropdown actually has two additional options than the canvas dropdowns but we will explore the tool from the Canvas Builder just because it works a little bit better with our screen recording tool. So the first one that we see is Make Purchase. And remember those purchase events we talked about, one of the three types of custom data? This is it right here. We can trigger off of a purchase event that could be either any purchase or a specific purchase. And I just have these two products in my dashboard, the two that I purchased in my previous videos. But when you click choose a product dropdown, all the products on your dashboard will be listed and you can also search for a specific one here. Next, we have start session, another very common trigger which we can choose any app or a specific app. Um, so for example, you can launch this message only if a user starts a session on their mobile app or on the website. For me, unfortunately, I just have the web app, so I only have one option. But if you have both a mobile app and a website, you might see multiple options here. Next, we have perform custom event, and this is probably the one that gets used the most often. You choose from your list of available custom events as the trigger to deliver the campaign message or enter your users into this canvas. And most of the times your high value actions are logged as a custom event, which will trigger some type of communication to your end users. Next, we have perform conversion event. And now this is one of the first of the two triggers that are missing for canvases. So we are back at the campaign builder. And this one is an interesting one because when we choose this trigger, Braze says perform this campaign's primary conversion event. So typically users receive the message and as a result, they perform the conversion event. However, with this filter, we're almost going backwards and setting up the campaign for users who will perform the action that we want them to. And to be completely honest, I don't see the absolute need for this filter, and maybe that's why it's not available in the Canvas Builder. But if anyone has an awesome use case for this trigger, please share them in the comments below. We are back at our Canvas dropdown, and for our second to last trigger for today, we have add an email address, which is a cool one because many times this could serve as a good substitute for something like created account custom event. This option gets triggered when an email address gets newly added to a user profile. However, I've tested and confirmed this. It will not trigger anything when the email address changes. This add an email address trigger only triggers when an email address newly gets added to a user profile. And our last trigger that we'll cover today is change custom attribute value, which is also a very cool one. So sometimes a trigger that you need might not be a custom event, but a change in custom attribute. And this trigger could also save on ingesting additional data. For example, remember when we were adding my favorite item on Nike, and then we were updating our favorite item custom attribute. And even though we weren't logging a custom event with this change, this would be the perfect use case for the change custom attribute value trigger. So we can go ahead and add the trigger, choose a custom attribute, and you can see that I have two options, change custom attribute to any new value or to the specific value, and I can choose that specific value. If we choose an object custom attribute, which our favorite item is an object, then we click enter a path, 
choose one of these children data, but unfortunately we don't get the any new value or specific value option. And lastly, change custom attribute value trigger is currently not available for array attributes, which is unfortunate, but we will work with what we have. So any array custom attributes are actually not showing up on this dropdown here. That's it for day 14. We will cover the remaining action-based triggers in our next video. If you have any questions, please share them in the comments. We're happy to help. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe for more awesome Braze videos in the future. Thank you for watching and see you next time.